Hello everybody out there, Chris here. I hope everyone's having a great weekend. Um, I'm getting excited because baseball is upon us. Um, my Ryan, my 10 year old, his, his baseball season gets kicked off tomorrow. Um, Major League Baseball just had a tremendous World Baseball Classic. Uh, you know, we're in the throes of spring training. Things are getting a little more serious. Opening day is right around the corner. And so based upon those things, it's about this time of year, every year, uh, that I watch my favorite baseball movie. Um, I love Field of Dreams, I love Sandlot, I love Bull Durham, um, and, and other baseball movies. But I think my favorite movie is Major League. And so I've got my Cleveland Indians hat on. Um, shout out to Scott Reindeer Studios. This is a, a little old school. I guess the I call them the Cleveland Gar Indians now, but um, I've got some cool autographs on some short printed cards to show off, um, and you may be sensing a theme. So I'm gonna flip this thing around. I'm gonna show those cards off, and hope everyone has a good rest of the weekend. All right, first up, I have got Jake Taylor. Uh, his real name obviously is Tom Berenger, uh, famous actor. This is a set of cards that Topps Archives put out in 2014. They are short printed, so they're very difficult to come by. Uh, you can obviously purchase them on the secondary market. Um, some of these were top certified autographs. These that I have, um, I have gone through private signings through, through the mail. This particular card I actually got back today, which is why I'm making this video, um, was inscribed Jake Taylor number seven and signed by Tom Berenger. Um, this was a private signing that he did. Of course, he's uh, an actor, so he's been in a, a lot of uh, movies and things of that nature. But thought it was kind of cool, and so uh, added it to my collection. 1989 style tops. I've got the Roger Dorn, uh, who obviously his real name is Corbin Burns, so that was also a private signing. Uh, Dorn was the sort of the slacker, uh, grizzled vet who has through the prime of his career. But uh, obviously kind of a cool card. Again, there is the back. I have Gaylord Perry-inspired Eddie Harris. Um, Chelsea Ross is the actor's name. And, uh, you know, he's, he's prevalent uh, with Joe Boo and... Uh, has some pretty iconic scenes uh, in the movie. So this was pretty cool. This was actually through the mail. Um, he lives in Ohio these days, and uh, there was actually no fee with this one. So, uh, of course, the card itself, I would say is probably about a $25 to $35 card to get, maybe on eBay. Um, very difficult, obviously, to pull out of a pack, but there is the uh, nose for winning. He uh, would use... Uh, any foreign substance, including putting jalapenos up his nostril. Kind of funny. And then the big uh, the big one out of these, we've got Ricky Vaughn. So uh, Charlie Sheen. If you ever wondered what Charlie Sheen's autograph looked like, that is what it looks like. Um, this was a card that I was sent to a private signing. Um, it was actually uh, a little more expensive. Charlie Sheen's more expensive than the others. So it's uh, in the presence. But uh, Ricky Vaughn, he makes their heart sing, um, also known as Wild Thing. So, very cool card. Um, of course, I like Ricky Vaughn. He was in, his character was inspired by Ryan Duran, R Y N E, and uh, he's a great, uh, probably one of the first closers out there uh, in the '50s for the Yankees, and uh, is who Ryan Sandberg is named after. And of course, I named a kid after Ryan Sandberg. So. I've got some other cool um, short prints here. This is a Wade Boggs. This is a super short print SSP out of 2013 tops. The card is dang near impossible to find. Um, Wade Boggs has signed through the mail for a long time. Um, things are getting a bit erratic, so sending to Wade Boggs is a little hit or miss right now um, from what I hear. Uh, sounds like he may be changing his prices or only signing one at a time, kind of kind of like Sandberg. But this card I actually sent to a private signing. Uh, the card itself is really difficult to come by being an SSP. It is um, 
Oh, I still got my name and information and all that on the back. So it is a, a card that I did not want to lose in the mail. And so sent that off and a great signature right there on it. Um, next super short print I've got is from 2020 Tops. This is Series 2. Um, and this was sent to Nolan Ryan's Foundation. And it's just a card you don't see very often. Um, obviously, uh, being a, a short print, this is also a super short print. Uh, it's a card that costs probably between $75 and $100 to purchase, just the card itself. So, um, obviously, anything with Nolan Ryan on a Topps issued card, um, I want signed, particularly when he's in a Rangers uniform. So, there we go. And then speaking of Nolan Ryan Super Short Prints, we've got one from, this was Series 2 from 2022. Uh, so this is also a card that runs probably about $75 to $100. Uh, it's also a Super Short Print. Um, so I like it. It depicts Nolan. Uh, it's obviously got him as a, a Ranger here, but uh, also obviously as a a uh, ranch fella. I mean, he is big in the cattle industry, beef industry, and so I think it shows a, almost no one at home. So I hope everyone has a great weekend. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to get off here, get some things ready, and like I said, stay dry, stay warm, and go enjoy your favorite baseball movie. All right, I'll see you.